there has been much debate about the Hotsun's relationships with other birds. Because of its distinctness it has been given its own family, genetic research indicated that it is the last surviving member of a bird line that branched off in its own direction 64 million years ago. The Hotsun is a folivore, it eats the leaves of the plants that grow in the marshy and riverine habitats where it lives. It uses bacterial fermentation in the front part of the gut to break down the vegetable material they consume, much as cattle and other ruminants do. Host's eagle size and weight indicate a bodily striking force equivalent to a concrete block falling from the top of an eight-story building. Its large beak also could be used to rip into the internal organs of its prey and death then would have been caused by blood loss. Early human settlers in New Zealand preyed heavily on large flightless birds, including all moa species, eventually hunting them to extinction by around 1400. The loss of its primary prey caused the host's eagle to become extinct at about the same time. Golden eagles are sometimes considered the best flyers among eagles and perhaps among all raptorial birds. They are equipped with broad, long wings with somewhat finger-like indentations on the tips of the wing. Golden eagles are unique among their genus in that they often fly in a slight dihedral, which means the wings are often held in a slight, upturned v -shape. The bald eagle is an opportunistic feeder which subsists mainly on fish, which it swoops down and snatches from the water with its talons. Benthic fishes such as catfish are usually consumed after they die and float to the surface, though while temporarily swimming in the open may be more vulnerable to predation than most fish since their eyes focus downwards. They are not actually bald, the name derives from an older meaning of the word, white-headed. On average, Stellar Seas Eagle is the heaviest eagle in the world, at about 5 to 9 kg. It is known to make a deep barking cry in aggressive interactions. Fish make up about 80% of the diet of eagles, they hunt most commonly from a perch in a tree or rocky ledge above the water, although they may also hunt on the wing, while circling above the water. Once located, prey is captured by diving. Harpy eagle is the largest and most powerful raptor found in the rainforest, it usually inhabits tropical lowland rainforests in the upper canopy layer. Destruction of its natural habitat has caused it to vanish from many parts of its former range. Adults are near or even at the top of a food chain and are rarely preyed on. Its main prey are tree-dwelling mammals and a majority of the diet has been shown to focus on sloths and monkeys. Due to their ecological similarities, the crowned eagle is Africa's best analogue of the harpy eagle. Thanks to its bold and highly conspicuous behaviour, it is exceptionally well studied for a large, forest-dwelling eagle. Due to a relatively high level of habitat adaptability, it was until recently considered to be faring well by the standards of large, forest-dependent raptors. However, today it is generally thought that it is decreasing far more than was previously perceived due to the almost epidemic destruction of native tropical African forest. The crested serpent eagle, as its English name suggests, is a reptile eater which hunts over forests, often close to wet grassland, for snakes and lizards. This species is a resident species, but in some parts of their range they are found only in summer. They call a lot in the late mornings from their perches where they spend a lot of time and they rise on thermals in the mornings.
Unlike most birds of prey, the secretary bird is largely terrestrial, hunting its prey on foot. Adults hunt in pairs and sometimes as loose familial flocks, stalking through the habitat with long strides. Prey is often flushed out of tall grass by the birds stomping on the surrounding vegetation. It also waits near fires, eating anything it can that is trying to escape. They specialize in stomping their prey until the prey is killed or immobilized. Its common name is popularly thought to derive from the crest of long quill-like feathers, lending the bird the appearance of a secretary with quill pens tucked behind their ear, as was once common practice. The head does not have feathers, this is an adaptation that occurred because of the rupal vulture's tendency to stick its head inside of its prey when eating. Without the adaptation, feeding would become extremely messy. They have an especially powerful build and, after the most attractive soft parts of a carcass have been consumed, they will continue with the hide, and even the bones, gorging themselves until they can barely fly. From the size and structure of its wings, it is inferred that Argentavis flew mainly by soaring, using flapping flight only during short periods. It is probable that it used thermal currents as well. This species seems less aerodynamically suited for predation than its relatives. It probably preferred to scavenge for carrion. Andean condor is the largest living flying bird in the world and, unlike most birds of prey, the male is larger than the female. There is a well-developed social structure within large groups of condors, with competition to determine a pecking order by body language, competitive play behavior, and vocalizations. Some estimations of lifespans of wild birds has exceeded 50 years. The genus Sarcoramphus, which today contains only the king vulture, had a wider distribution in the past. The king vulture soars for hours effortlessly, only flapping its wings infrequently. While in flight, its wings are held flat with slightly raised tips, and from a distance the vulture can appear to be headless while in flight. Despite its size and gaudy coloration, this vulture is quite inconspicuous when it is perched in trees. Cuban giant owl was a nearly flightless bird and it is believed to be the largest owl that ever existed. Its legs and feet appear to be very large and powerfully built. This supports the theory that they were strong runner, took flight when extremely pressed. Owls are generally nocturnal and spend much of the day roosting. They are often perceived as tame since they allow people to approach quite closely before taking flight, but they are instead attempting to avoid detection. Because of their nocturnal habits, they tend not to exhibit sexual dimorphism in their plumage. The Ural owl feeds on rodents and medium-sized to large birds. The barn owl is a bird of open country such as farmland or grassland with some interspersed woodland, they are not particularly territorial but have a home range inside which they forage. Small prey is usually torn into chunks and eaten completely including bones and fur, while prey larger preys are usually dismembered and the inedible parts discarded. The barn owl has acute hearing, with ears placed asymmetrically. This improves detection of sound position and distance and the bird does not require sight to hunt. The snowy owl is a ground nester that primarily hunts rodents and waterfowl, and opportunistically eats carrion. Most owls sleep during the day and hunt at night, but the snowy owl is active during the day. 
However, they appear to orient themselves into the sun or wind depending on prevailing weather conditions, therefore it is likely that wind and sun orientating are associated with thermoregulation. Living in open grasslands as opposed to forests, the burrowing owl has developed longer legs that enable it to sprint, as well as fly, when hunting. This species can live for at least nine years in the wild. Burrowing owls often nest and roost in the burrows made by ground squirrels, a strategy also used by rattlesnakes. When threatened the owl retreats to the burrow and produces rattling and hissing sounds similar to that of a rattlesnake. 